Uh, I got to admit, I'm a convert to the Catholic faith. This has been a rough seven years, and especially the last three years. It's been really difficult. And I just keep coming back to two analogies that are used by priests and bishops and cardinals that I speak with and that I trust. And those two analogies are one from Our Lady of La Salette, the church in eclipse. In an eclipse, the moon doesn't disappear. The moon doesn't cease to exist. The moon falls under a shadow and it's hard to see the moon. So that's one analogy that comes from Our Lady of La Salette. And I think it's a good way of understanding what's going on. The church didn't disappear. The papacy didn't disappear. The sacraments didn't disappear. The moon didn't disappear. The moon is in eclipse and the church is in eclipse. And the moon never stays in eclipse. It comes back out. So I am hopeful in that regard. I mean, the second analogy is the passion of the church, that the church moves through the stages of the life of Christ because the church is the bride of Christ. And perhaps the church is moving into the agony in the garden, the scourging at the pillar, the crowning with thorns, the carrying of the cross. This is when the apostles fled from terror. This is when Peter denied our Lord three times. This is when only Mary, the Theotokos, Mary Magdalene, John stood fast beneath the cross. So two analogies there, eclipse and passion. So what I'd like to do, this is the 500th